Now, it was a close shave for the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, and Greek Prime Minister, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, on the front lines of the Ukraine war. And this happened because a Russian missile detonated mere hundreds of meters away from the meeting where both the leaders were present. During a visit to the Black Sea port of Odessa, and this happened on Wednesday. Now, early in the morning, Ukrainian Air Force issued a ballistic missile threat alert across the region. According to media reports, the missile struck merely 500 to 800 meters away from the delegation. However, no official reports were made public up until the joint press conference between the Ukrainian president and the Greek prime minister. The Ukrainian Navy has claimed that while this incident marks the closest encounter for the Ukrainian president, the strike which killed five was likely not intentioned to target the leader. I think the Greek Prime Minister and I did not only hear it, but we saw the strikes. You see with whom we're dealing. They don't care where they strike. I know that there were victims today. I don't know the exact details. Still, I know that there were victims. There are dead and injured because of the strike. My condolences, you see. It doesn't matter whether there are soldiers or civilians. Whether there are international guests, no matter who is there, these people don't care. The Greek Prime Minister, who was on his first visit to the country since Russia's invasion in February 2022, stated that the delegation heard sirens and a big explosion while they were headed towards their motorcade. Mitsotakis doubled down on Greece's support to Ukraine and promised to remain a long-term ally for Ukraine's pursuit for NATO and EU membership. As part of his tour, the Greek Prime Minister also visited the Transfiguration Orthodox Cathedral, part of a UNESCO-protected World Heritage Site in Odessa, which was left severely damaged by a Russian missile strike in July 2023. President Zelensky, meanwhile, confirmed Greece's participation at an upcoming peace summit in Switzerland. We were at the port of Odessa and President Zelensky and his staff gave us a tour, explaining to us on the one hand the importance of the port for Ukraine's exports and on the other hand showing us the significant damage to this critical infrastructure has suffered when we heard some sirens. And shortly after, as we were getting into our cars, we heard a big explosion. The Russian Defense Ministry further confirmed the attack, stating that the strike was aimed at neutralizing a Ukrainian hangar for naval drones and it successfully achieved its goal. As claimed by Ukrainian naval commander during the Greek Prime Minister's tour, Russia has launched over 880 attack drones and over 170 missiles towards Ukraine at Ukraine's Odessa region since the beginning of the war in 2020.